Hi, and welcome to our Leap Motion controller demo from inkfactory.com. What we wanted to do was demonstrate this device being used by a graphic designer. So here he is just trying to open up the uh, Photoshop icon here. So we've opened Photoshop, and now we're trying to go to the File menu and open up a new project. And as you can see, he is struggling just a little bit there. And now we've opened up our new project. So what we were going to do was just simply see if we can use the uh, brushes and pen tools within Photoshop. So just opening up a new layer. And with the brush tool selected, we're seeing we're not getting anything on the screen. So now we're actually switching to uh, another mode so we can actually see the screen in more detail. So here we are with Photoshop CS6 opened. As you see, we're using the controller to go to the file menu. But unfortunately, as you can see, it is a little bit tricky to operate. And here we are with our new project. OK, so with our new project open, we'll just uh, go and open a new layer. And as you can see, the grey mode there is uh, the hovering. Uh, and then when it goes green, you're actually clicking, just as you would with your mouse or pen. Now what we're demonstrating there is the fact that with the brush strokes, we're not getting anything on the screen. And now using the text tool as well, we're not getting anything on the screen as well. So the Leap Motion uh, software hasn't really been uh, fully optimized yet to uh, work with uh, Adobe software. And once I think uh, they get that uh, kink worked out, uh, it won't be too bad at all to be using. But for the moment, for prime time use, for real time use, uh, we can't really see the Leap Motion tool uh, being a huge success amongst. Uh, Photoshop fans or Illustrator fans uh, for the moment. Now you can see here we've just switched over to prove that um, we should have been able to write something quickly there. That squiggle was actually done using the uh, keypad on the laptop. So really uh, just giving up with that one. And we're using the Leap Motion controller to actually shut down uh, the software. Now, there is actually a Leap Motion app that's been designed by Coral to work with the uh, Leap Motion controller. And here it is. And so we'll just give a quick uh, demonstration. So we've selected a brush, selected uh, a color from our palette. And as you can still see there, choosing another color from the palette actually wiped across our um, canvas there. So it's still um, a little tricky to use. Now we've got the color wheel. But as you can see with the... Uh, the way the artist is trying to actually use this tool and interact with it, it it's still, even with this app, uh, quite tricky. Now, I'm sure with some time getting used to this particular uh, software and getting used to how the Leap Motion uh, controller follows the movements of your hand and fingers, over time you could uh, build up the necessary skills to use this software, but um, kind of wondering, still, this is just kind of an alpha, really, uh, not ready for prime time quite yet.
Having said that, as you can see, there are a lot of uh, tools built into this software. Uh, a lot of brush sets, different types of brushes. What we don't have is the ability to have a pressure sensitivity as you would with uh, working with a pen and tablet. So that feature is lacking within the Leap Controller, uh, Leap Motion Controller at the moment, and so that does cause uh, artist problems using it. So here we're just going to try and draw a little face <laughs> and then uh, shut down the software. And here we are, just hovering over using the Leap Controller device to try and shut down the app. Uh, in the end, we had to abandon that and actually use the tracker pad. Now, one thing that we did find with the Leap Motion device was uh, using games. Uh, it was quite fun. So here we have the popular Cut the Rope uh, game. Uh, if you've got an Android phone, uh, you may be familiar with this. And so, as you see, we can use the finger just to cut the rope and interact with the game. So, a little bit of fun, uh, a little bit of light relief after some of the problems we had using uh, this uh, device with um, Photoshop and with the uh, specifically designed app that's meant to work with uh, the Leap Motion Controller. So, um, please tell us today uh, how you would use the Leap Motion Controller yourself and contact us at uh, Twitter or our Facebook account.